Hi, I'm Karis Thompson. Uh, we just filmed a, a film clip to my new single, Crashland, at the wonderful Buffalo Club. In and, downtown West End of Frio. Downtown West End of Frio. And um, I'm here with my good mate, Howard Johnson. And uh, uh, he's been a big inspiration for me with my music, taught me about the encore. But uh, the main thing is um, this new song, Crashland, is actually, I wrote it from a story that um, Howie told me uh, about Bon Scott and uh, how he used to play in a band called Dave Warner's from the suburbs. They used to play a similar circuit. So um, the best thing I could do is have a beer with my mate and ask him a few questions about, this, about the man, about the song. So Howie, um, can you tell us the first time you met Bon? Well, funnily enough, um, the first time I met Bon was when I went over, over east, I guess, as you do as a young bloke. Just got my licence at 17. And the fellow down the, down the bar there, uh, he was with the man that I was with in the car, and that was Bon Scott's cousin, as it turned out, Brian Lang. Langy and I took off and we ended up in Adelaide, where all the way to Adelaide, uh, Brian is saying to me, or Langy as I called him, Langy was saying to me, look, we'll be right in Adelaide, we'll stop at me mate, bro, uh, me cousin Ronnie's place. Well, as I found out later, when we stopped at his cousin Ronnie's place, his cousin Ronnie was actually his cousin Bon. Bon Scott, because I recognised him immediately as he walked out the driveway to greet us as Bon Scott from the Valentines. Pretty big band back in the day that won, you know, Hoadley's Battle of the Sounds, went to England. Vince Lovegrove and Bon Scott were the twin lead singers of this band. Well, Bon wasn't going to have us go anywhere. We were going to be stopping right there, which we did for about two or three weeks until Bon actually found us somewhere else to live. But we then found out it wasn't Bond's house, it was Bond's girlfriend, later to be his, his wife, but it was her parents' house and Bond was living in the garage at the time with the girl, but he still had room in his driveway to put us up. Wanted a taste, I wanted it all. Yeah, Bond, Bond was fantastic to us and as it turned out, a month or so, or maybe six weeks later, we, our next part of the journey was to go to Melbourne then up to Sydney. So. We headed off to Melbourne, we'd said our goodbyes a week before and off we went to Melbourne, the, the next big adventure. And back in those days, 1974 I'm talking about, it is a while ago, but 1974 you had to be 50 miles out of the big town before you could get beer anywhere. If it was a Sunday you had to be a traveller, you had to be a legitimate traveller. So 50 miles out of Adelaide you get to a place called Murray Bridge. Me mate went in to get our allocated dozen cans that we were allowed to have and I went to the news agents got the newspaper because that's what I did. I like reading the newspaper in the city, I'm in to find out what's going on. So a couple of cans down the track as we we're heading towards Melbourne, I'm reading the paper, chuck it on the seat between us and back in the day of the stop press there was a, on the back page a thing which usually was reserved for sport. On this particular day there was a big column saying singer badly injured in car accident and I couldn't believe it when I saw the little photo underneath and it was Bon Scott, this guy who had helped us so much. We pulled the car up, I sort of said, look, this, you know, we just turned the car around, went back to Royal Adelaide Hospital where this man who had done everything for us for the last six weeks or so was there in a hospital bed with intensive care. It was incredible to see that in, in front of us, this guy so full of life. The week before, all of a sudden you're seeing him and his life is being drained out of him. Heading out of Adelaide, your accident there on the back page. Turn the car around, you didn't want us to stay. And so he didn't die from that accident. He actually survived the accident. Not only did he survive the accident, he ended up joining, becoming the oldest teenager, if you like, and he joined this band ACDC. And the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, that's my memories of Bon Scott. So. I guess when I told you that story when we did that gig at Rotto and kept you up all night telling you the story, <laughs> my story of Von Scott, uh, what a blast it was for, for you know, maybe some time later when Kara says, oh gee, I've written this song. Uh, it's about that story you told me about Von. older as a songwriter I'm just looking for uh, you know more interesting stories and 
and um, you know people have amazing stories and the more you talk to different kinds of people the more you sort of hear and um, and yeah there's, a, there's always sort of a there's always a story that can make a song and, and I just love on this new record I've tried to get these sort of small suburban stories simple stories but they can be epic in their nature because that's what we are as humans we have little stories we go through life and but we have big experiences you ride on you sing loud